Okay, Bill, we're going to look at your putting technique, and uh, the video on the left was before I did adjustments. This is the first round where everyone just putted using their current technique, and I'm going to compare that to Tiger. Uh, let's look at your setup. Your setup is really solid. Uh, good width of stance. I like the way your arms are positioned. You have your elbow slightly tucked and, and into your sides. You've got a very good uh, putting grip. Looks like a reverse overlap. Uh, that's exactly what Tiger has as well. So everything about your setup looks really solid. Let's look at Tiger. Take it back. Nice arm swing. Keeps the Y together. His arms and his club are moving. He's not handsy or wristy. As he makes contact, he keeps his eyes down. His eyes are still down. The ball is left. The screen, his eyes are still down. His eyes are still down. It's left the camera. His putter has come to a stop right here, and he's, he's holding his position, and now he's turning his head, but as he turns, he holds his spine angle, and he holds his finish. So he's doing the putt-hold looks, and so he, he puts the ball. He does not turn his head until his club and his stroke is completely finished. He'll hold the finish and then turn. Let's look at your technique as you come back. Nice solid stroke. You're keeping your Y together. As you make contact, your eyes are down. But uh, you can see how as you swivel your head and you follow the ball immediately with your eyes. And that was the thing we worked on. You come out of your posture just a little bit there. So we worked on that, and, and uh, let's look at that change that you made. So now this is the second round that we went through, and after we had done some drills and worked on putt, hold, and look, and as you strike the ball, your eyes are down, you're finishing your stroke, you're still staying down, very good, you're holding your finish, very nice. Now you're looking. So you did an excellent putt hold look. Right now it's a little bit uh, unfamiliar to you. So I just want you to practice it and so it becomes familiar. This is an important fundamental. It's not talked about much, but I think it is one of the important fundamentals of a good putting stroke is, is putting and coming to a complete finish before you turn or lift. So that's a very good execution of the change. Keep working on that until it becomes comfortable. Now we're looking at your chipping technique. And um, I really liked uh, your setup there. Your feet are very close together. Hands slightly forward. Um, and uh, let's look at Tiger first. So as Tiger goes back. He stays on that left side. You can see I just kind of lean to the left there. Camera's not right square with him, but we can kind of tell. And then he swings his chest through the ball. You can see how his chest comes through right there. Watch that right knee, right hip. His left leg will actually extend and can become straighter as his right knee flexes. So he's standing tall. You can kind of see how even his head comes up. So unlike the putting, the putting we hold our spine angle and we hold our eyes on the ground, to the ground, until we come to a complete stop with the follow through. With the, with the chip and pitch, the pros actually let their eyes swing with the chest, swing with the chest. They don't try to excessively keep the eyes to the ground uh, after impact. They let, they hit and swing with the club and the ball and the chest. And uh, you were doing the same thing, pretty much. It looks really good. I like that move right there. You're all connected. The hands are in front of the chest. Everything's moving in a connected, in-sequence manner. The only thing that I saw that I, I referred to during the second round, the first round I kind of just got a video of your current technique. In the second round, I talked about some of the things that I was seeing there. And... Uh, when I do the slow motion in this particular comparison screen, uh, the rhythm of the swing is not as evident, but I, when I look back at the, uh, the swing while it was moving in normal speed, 
I mentioned that sometimes your hands got a little bit jumpy um, in the transition of backswing to forward swing. On the left uh, is going to be a practice swing in round one, and on the right is going to be uh, the ball swing in round one. The setups look very similar. Um, I want to play it first in normal speed without frame advancing it, and watch the smoothness of the swing on the left. Just nice flow right there. And you'll notice that on this, on the right now, there's just a little bit of a, a hand jab, just a little bit of a, a yank towards the ball. Just a little jab type action. Now, subtly it looks very similar when I just freeze it right now. If I were, if I were to freeze advance, frame advance it a little a frame at a time, it might not be deceptible uh, what is the difference? But let's look at it a little bit deeper here. Let me take you back to the starting of the swing on both. And it's mostly in the lower body, where the lower body kind of gets stuck and just stops and, and freezes up on you. On the Let's do the left first. As you come back, now I want you to pay attention to the right knee. As, it's, as you start the hands forward and the club forward, your right knee is also moving towards your left leg. And when your hands get just past your left leg, and you've got a nice straight line right here, you can see where the knee is and how close your right knee is to your left knee at that moment. Now as you come back here, and it, you're not going to see that jerkiness when I do a frame advance. But you're going to see that that right leg makes small movements to the left side, but they almost just lock up right now. And when your hands get about the same place when you're hitting the ball, there's a lot more space here uh, between your knees. You have not moved that knee as far. You, you're thighs are closer together on the left pitcher than the right pitcher. As you come through, when your hands are here, put your hands in about the same place. I can see daylight between your knees on the right and none on the left. So that's an indication that you, you swung the club connected with your hip turn. On the right, you basically stopped the hip turn and just uh, race the hands past the body, and you're not really swinging uh, the club as much. Uh, and so your practice swing has this nice rhythmic flow back and forth, rotating towards the target with your entire body, upper and lower body. Your ball swing on the right tended to focus more on swinging with your upper body, and, and the lower body kind of locks up when there's a ball there. Now, you can do the move. You've, you're demonstrating it on the left. And so the real method to learn to hit balls with the swing on the left is practice. You need to just get one of those practice short game tubes that holds about 25 balls and go to the short game area and work on um, capturing the feeling of your practice swing. So when you practice, don't just do your practice swing, but really monitor it and pay attention to how your lower body moves and uh, let the lower body swing a little bit more connected with the club. And uh, because you have the technique, we just need to transfer it to the